Tucked into the forest on a tranquil bench above the beautiful Dry Creek Valley, we discover cast wines. Thanks so much for joining me here today. To start with, let's talk about this stunning location and how the two of you came to find this spot. Yeah, this is a, one of the most beautiful places I've ever found in, in wine country. And uh, we've been fortunate to be able to um, go lots of pretty places around the world. And um, um, we uh, were frequent visitors out here from our, uh, our old home back in Texas. And uh, um, you, you know, we kind of had an idea that we might want to relocate out here. And uh, 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 our winemaker actually, it wasn't our winemaker then, but our winemaker um, told us about this, this site. And uh, it, was, uh, it was someone's residence at the time. The vineyard was here. And it just really, on, on first blush, we brought a bottle of wine up here and watched the sunset. And it just really occurred to us that this, the, you know, so someone intended this to be a place that people could really enjoy wine. I mean, it's phenomenal to look around and see what you've done with the place. I understand you have constant stream of visitors you're open every day to tasting tell me more about kind of your day-to-day -day visitors what they can expect when they come to the winery well they can almost always expect something is going on today we're actually bottling so uh, uh, we're, we're doing about uh, we started on Tuesday and are going all the way until today so it's been several days of bottling there's almost always something going on so every year is different um, every varietal um, is unique <clears throat> so we try to if you grabbed a grape on the day of harvest and you got to taste that with the finished wine, you get that opportunity to say, I see where it came from. Mm -hmm. So the concept was always uh, to elevate that fruit to its highest potential. So as owners, we, we get a say in what we think the direction should be, but then right. it's all in his hands. Right, and letting <laughs> and the vineyards hands. speak for themselves. Yeah. You know, we get, we get uh, uh, a few tons of, of fantastic Pinot. Same thing with, uh, we do a Chardonnay from Kiefer Ranch, the Kiefer family. We have a Bucher Vineyard Sauvignon Blanc and a uh, Pyramid Vineyard uh, um, uh, Cabernet. What is it you would like consumers to know if they're, you know, ordering a bottle of cast wine? What, what, what can they expect? Um, they can expect a, um, a, a balanced wine that is, uh, that doesn't that's going to improve with age, but isn't going to need to be aged to, to be enjoyed. Um, our wines are uh, intended to be uh, um, true to the varietal nature. Um, uh, we're not trying to manipulate a lot. I love that when you open a cast wine, you're getting that year in its, in its highest point. And so that's what we try to do. Well, thank you so much for having us. And cheers, cheers to Cast Wines cheers. and hosting Cellar Thanks for being here. Thank you. If you want to experience the beauty, rich history, and culture of Sonoma County, you must visit Cast Wines. And thank you for your support.